Credentials, prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing to him. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great teams. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get a start, here gentlemen, is Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Assassin. And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Big head kick lands. Huge block there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, nice sequence of jabs there turned in by Lee. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Big kick land. What a punch. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Round two is next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Able to check that kick as well. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice shot to the body there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Just misses there with the left. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively. 
and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. You can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Got clip with the right hand. Round three next. His kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, another round is now yeah. underway. Pretty good previous yeah. two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. Doing everything you train to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. With the corner, they will relay that message to their fighter better in the strong. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Just out of range with that kick attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Lee circling to his right. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Leg oh, kick. nice punch there by Lee. that leg kick. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. The shot is blocked by Lee. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the butt. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 15 seconds. Big kick lands. Straight right is there. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants it. Ready? Ready? 
Let's go one right play. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big kick land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Circling towards the left now. Big leg kick land. Great punch. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there and Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a test. Oh. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Wow, what a kick! Looking to time that counter kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, nice. Oh! There by Luke. Oh, beautiful one two punch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. 
Oh, straight right. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Lee circling now towards the left. Finish the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lee gets back up. What a punch. Hands high, hands high. 30 seconds now to go on the fight. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Waning seconds of this fight. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that 